Fishermen on the eastern side of the island for two months have raised concerns of a foreign vessel posing a threat to their lives and livelihood to officials of both the Fisheries Division and the Coast Guard. To date, proper identification of the vessel is yet to be confirmed, though they suspect that the vessel is of Japanese origin. Moran Mitchell, acting chief fisheries officer, said no license was issued to any foreign vessel. However, the spotting of the vessel was reported. Well, well we went um, after we heard reports from St. Andrews mm -hmm. fishermen that you have a foreign vessel with a flag operating in Grenada Territorial's waters. We went with the Grenada Coast Guard to ascertain if this was correct. Mm -hmm. But we have been there in the very area for almost four hours and we have not seen any sighting of any vessel whatsoever. Notwithstanding, after three weeks, we heard about an incident again. Mm -hmm. So um, I do not know. Um, the Fisheries Department have not issued any license to any Japanese vessels if they felt it was a Japanese vessel. Mm -hmm. They cannot provide any detail as to the flag state of the vessel. So I'm not saying that a vessel did not pass because vessels have innocent passage. They can pass through our territorial waters, whether with speed or so. He added that this latest development now raises another issue as net fishing in Grenada's territorial waters is prohibited. And Grenada methodology of fishing is long lining. And if a vessel were to apply to drag net in Grenada, that is not our policy. We will not give a license for persons to operate any trammel net in Grenada or any per se net. So that is out of the question. So if a vessel came and poached illegally, I mean, that's a different thing, but in the Grenada Fisheries Division, we have not issued any such license for that operation, especially when net is concerned. Net is a no-no in the Grenada territorial waters of Grenada. Outreach to the police on the matter yield no result, though one officer told GBN that investigations are still ongoing. Akisha Felix for GBN News.